Okay, pretend for a moment that this gummy bear right here, a Halloween favorite, is a stem cell. Well, many of us have heard of stem cells, but what are they and how do they work? Well, Dr. Bill Johnson of Innovations Medical is going to go trick or treating with us. He's going to have a simple instruction or illustration to help us understand these stem cells and how they work. Dr. Johnson, good special. morning. This is going to get interesting. Yeah, we're going to have some fun with it and try and make something that's that's out there a lot and can be confusing. Try to make it simple. Okay, so let's talk about what makes stem cells so special. Well, stem cells are special kind of cells that can do two things. Let me get you to move the gummy bar. So let's say that M&M &M is a stem cell. Okay. What that stem cell can do is make more stem cells just like itself. Now, if you're a heart muscle, if you're a muscle, if you're a brain cell, if you're a cartilage cell, you can't do that. Okay. You can't make new copies of yourself. So the ability to make new copies of yourself is really important when we think about stem cells. Potentially, we could fill the studio with yellow cells from a single, single M&M. Okay, okay? So this is powerful stuff. So how powerful. do the stem cells... Hang on, okay. hang on, because there's another thing Tell that me. stem cells can do. They can become other types of cells. So our yellow M&Ms can become red M&Ms. How do they do that? Or any color M&Ms, but, but that's not all. Our M&Ms can become Percy's Kisses. So if these were fat cells, they can become blood cells. They can become cartilage cells. They can become brain cells. Wow. All because of our yellow cell little. can make new ones and become other kinds of cells. So that's what makes stem cells so special and why there's so much excitement about them. And so because the healing properties here are outstanding on what they can do to repair Especially when your you own think stem cell of for your all own body. of the cells that can't do these things. That's, that's great. Okay, let's even illustrate this further because stem cells, how are they so smart? How do they know where to go and what types of cells to become? So that's the next question. So how does the yellow M&M know that it needs to become a red gummy bear? Yes. So we've got a little of a demonstration here that we're going to use some of the, the crew here. Yes. So we've got growth factor A and growth factor A is a person with sore joints. So they've got growth factors and we've talked about growth factors as being the text messages that cells send between each other. Right. So she's going to send us a text message here. And she's sending a text message that says she's growth factor A, sore, sore joints, and, and then and she likes, received that text message. And it says she likes M&Ms. So the stem cells go out to her <laughs> and the, they are come M&Ms so that they can make new cartilage or whatever the joint needs. So now let's go to B. These stem cells are brilliant. Growth factor B, damaged nerve so tissue. So if there's damaged nerve tissue, if you've got a neuropathy, if you've got Parkinson's disease is one that's being working, if you've got and it's, uh, strokes, multiple sclerosis in areas being researched quite a bit. Okay. So again, they send us a text message and on this one, the and text message says that she likes Hershey's Kisses. So here they come. Trick or treat. Here the kisses. Okay. Right there. So she gets Hershey's Kisses because the stem cells can go there and then become what that damaged tissue needs. Okay, growth factor C damage. Growth damaged factor C is damaged lungs. lungs. We're seeing really good results in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. We're, it's a, we're not treating the symptoms. We're actually changing what's happening in the lungs. And so again, if she sends a text message, hey, I'm lungs, I need help, and she likes gummy bears. Yes. Okay, so here comes the gummy bears Trick again. Trick or treat. <laughs> because the, the growth factors from the lungs say, I need that particular type of stem cell, the cells can go there and then become what that tissue needs. That it's, I know that Dr. Johnson, uh, I saw how excited you got when you saw these preliminary testings that were done using your own stem cells to repair. You said you saw amazing, it's, amazing it's really, things happening and, and in the human body. We're part of a network, a nationwide network of doctors that are doing this, and we're seeing some really remarkable results. Uh, patients that have been told they have knee replacements, 80% of the time they're seeing improvement. Yeah. And most patients are not having to go on to knee replacements, and that's just one example. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some amazing results. And we're, we're just beginning to really be able to use this technology to help people. And this is going to be easier to understand if you go to the webinar that you guys are going to be having we're on too. At, Between noon and 1 on November 13th, it's a Wednesday, okay. we're going to have a live webinar. And then they can go to our website and watch the webinar if they're not able to attend. And also on the website, there's some really good information okay. that will tell them what's going on, 
what kind of diseases we're doing, what to expect if they have stem cell work done. Really good, Dr. Johnson. Thank you for illustrating this with the Halloween candy today. A fun, playful way to talk about a very serious, cool innovation in the medical industry. For more information about the Innovations Medical Stem Cell Center, call this number 214-699-6948 or log on to innovationstemcellcenter.com. You can also email your questions to questions at innovationstemcellcenter.com.